Welcome back to Mini Lessons with Miss H and today we're doing page 173 and 174 and we're doing the SPA part of the spade strategy with our reading passage, okay? So first you're going to survey the text, we're going to examine the title, we're going to review the text features, the title illustrations or photographs and based on that surveying we'll create a prediction, we're going to identify the genre, to decide what type of story we're going to read and our prediction should be based on what you surveyed in the text. So even though a prediction is an educated guess, it should always have some foundation or, or you should have a reason why you put that as your prediction, right? When you annotate the text, the first time we're going to determine the basic understanding of the text and then the second time we'll do that the second time we annotate the text, we're doing it for crafting structure. So we're trying to determine how you're connecting to the story. Okay? So now I'm going to give you five minutes to read both parts of the story. And then Mr. Hernandez is going to read it with you. Okay? And we're going to check our annotations. Ready, set, go.
thing I'm going to do is look at the title and I'm going to label my text features. This is an illustration because it's drawn. It's not a photograph. Okay. Giving thanks to times. Then I see a, two boys walking, I think to school because they both have book bags on. So, write your prediction. Check your prediction. You should have already written one. I predict this text will be about two boys giving thanks. Okay? So now I am going to use my marker to make sure my eyes are reading in a straight line, okay? It was a cool November day. The dim sun hung like a nickel in the sky. My friend Raiku and I were walking home from school. So they were going home. Setting, setting. November, setting. I hugged my arms when I felt a breeze as sharp as a knife. So that means it was cold. That day at school, we studied Thanksgiving. We learned that the early settlers celebrated their first harvest at this very time of the year. Uh, I'm sorry, of year. They had a big feast to give thanks for all they had. My dad bought a turkey as big as a pillow. Are you having a big turkey for Thanksgiving? I asked Riku. He grinned wide as he answered. Yes, we're having a turkey. And we're having rice too. Oh, so look, they're both going to have a turkey. So that is saying they have that in common. They both celebrate Thanksgiving. Okay, so based on the fact that we're focusing on compare, which is same, and contrast for the two weeks, which is different, I'm going to look different. Jeez, I forgot how to write that. We're going to look for differences and similarities between both characters and their thanksgiving right that's what i'm going to do that's how i'm connecting to the text he grinned as he answered yes we're having a turkey and we're having rice too so maybe that's a difference but we'll find out in the back raiku explained that his family was celebrating labor day thanksgiving it was a holiday in japan where his family had lived he told me that this holiday was a harvest celebration just like the american thanksgiving Similarity. Both holidays are in November, too. Similarity, I exclaimed. Raiku told me last year he missed American Thanksgiving. He had spent Labor Day Thanksgiving in Japan. He was visiting his grandparents. He saw parades. Okay, that's the same for us. We have the Thanksgiving parade. There were displays of fruits and vegetables like colorful rainbows. This was, that was to give things for good crops, explained Raiku. You're lucky, I said. You get to have two Thanksgivings. Raiku said, why don't you visit my family for Labor Day Thanksgiving? Then you can have two Thanksgivings also. So that's a difference. The first boy doesn't have two Thanksgivings, and this one does, right? So... Based on this, this boy named Raiku celebrates Thanksgiving twice, which makes sense with the title, Giving Thanks Two Times. So he celebrates regular Thanksgiving, and then he celebrates hmm, Labor Day Thanksgiving. And for Labor Day Thanksgiving, they focus on the crops. It says it here. That's a difference. For our Thanksgiving, we focus on giving thanks for everything we have, right? 
So that's what I did. Now, my expectation is that you try to count how many things you annotated, right? So, and see if we matched. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So, you should have annotated at least fifteen key details in the story. All right? Until next time, bye!